the Earth is not always divided into neat units, so sometimes the boundaries of ecosystems are fuzzy. For example, where a forest and a grassland meet, they may blend together over many miles. This blending area is called an ecotone. In the forest grassland ecotone, it is not always clear where the forest stops and the grassland begins. It is clear, though, that forests and grasslands are certainly different. At ecotones, ecologists draw boundaries the best they can. Ecologists divide an ecosystem into two major components, the living and the non-living. The living part, which is called biotic, includes all plants and animals, and even the microscopic life, such as bacteria. The non-living part is called abiotic. The abiotic elements of an ecosystem include the soil, rocks, water, weather, and everything else in the environment that's not alive, even energy from the sun. All the biotic and abiotic elements work together in an ecosystem, contributing to the ecosystem's entire picture. An ecosystem is different from a biome or a community. An ecosystem includes non-living things as well as living things. A biome does cover large areas like an ecosystem might. A biome can even have the same name, such as grassland or deciduous forest. But biome only refers to the living things of an area, especially plants. <laughs> 